Hi, today for Black History Month, we're going to make the paper African kente weaving cloth. So you have a pattern install, make sure you align the long vertical lines on the fold of the paper. Once you fold, using the four construction sheets, you're going to weave them in and out of the paper. So remember, if you start out going under on the first sheet, you want to go over on the second sheet so they can be alternating. Next, you want to begin your design. There are several patterns you could choose from or just choose your own. Design it however you want to bring out the real beauty using uh, some simple items like your markers, your scissors, ruler, and a glue stick. You will have a beautiful clinte cloth in no time. And don't forget to add the finishing edges. You have also on that pattern uh, a fringed edge, which you can cut on either edge. You can also weave through yarn using tape. You would want to wrap a little bit of the tape around the edges of the yarn to make it easier to go in and out through the paper weaving. You'll see all of this in this demonstration. We know you're going to have fun. So enjoy and make your very own African Kente cloth weaving. What is kente cloth? West African cultures have had a tradition of weaving textiles for thousands of years. And it is thought that kente cloth developed from a variety of these methods. Kente cloth is to believe to have originated in Ghana with the Ashanti and Iwu tribes. Originally, kente was worn by royalty and its use was very limited to special social and sacred functions. Even though the cloth has become more available, it continues to be associated with wealth, social status, and cultural sophistication. The brightly colored basket-like patterns are woven from strips of cotton or silk and represent messages from the makers. The name Kente comes from the word for basket in the Ashante dialect of the Akan language. Learn more with the Savannah African Art Museum at www.savannahafricanartmuseum.org.